Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use Freshdesk for customer service. So let's get started. First off, you're going to start your free trial on Freshdesk.com. And over here, you're going to put in your details and sign up for free. As soon as you sign up, you're going to get started and that will load your basic dashboard. So when you're getting started with Freshdesk, as you can see on the left side, it will set up your account. So over here in personalized your help desk, you can verify your email. And below that, you can see you can add your language, whatever kind of language you want on your website. Change the color of your logo. So as you can see, I'm going to go with a pink. And below that, you can also change your menu color. So I'm also going to make that pink, I guess. Or I should make that black yeah and so you can update those and next you're gonna choose your support channel so how you can be contacted via phone email social media chat or forms and below that you can add your customer support email so if someone is going to be contacting you you can set that email over here and next up you can invite someone to your team so if you have a team that is working for you if someone is going to be selling the tickets for you you can invite them over here next up over here we have our dashboard our dashboard so shows our unresolved tickets overdue tickets tickets that are due that are open that are on hold or unassigned tickets below that they're going to give you a graph that shows you the trends so if the tickets are selling out better or worse it's going to show you a nice trend and below that, you have your customer satisfaction. Uh, you can see the percentage of positive responses or negative responses, even neutral responses and the total responses that you have received. On the right side, you're going to have your to-do list. So if something that you need to add to your to-do list, you're going to add it over here. And it's going to give you a nice little reminder on your basic dashboard. And now on the left side, we're going to move on to tickets. You can sort your tickets over here. So let's just say, let's sort them by their status. And now you can see high and urgent ones will be on the top. However, the other ones will be on the bottom. Now, next up on the right side, you can see over here, you can filter out what kind of tickets you want to view. If you want to see the tickets that are assigned to a specific person or the tickets that are still unassigned, you can view them over here. You can filter them out as per your needs. And next up below that, you have your basic contact and companies. So you can view those whichever way that you have contacted people. You can see their email addresses, uh, their company titles, their phone numbers, Facebook, Twitter, whatever kind of account details that you have about them. Below that, you have your solutions tab. So your solution tab is a general kind of uh, info tab, which allows you to view your email marketing, your legal requirements, your service related announcements. So if there is something that is kind of miscellaneous, you will find it in your solutions tab. And below the solutions tab, you have your reports and analytics. Reports are the basic general overview of how many tickets you might have sold. Uh, what is the ticket volume trend? You can see over here, you can get a help desk in depth ticket analysis and you can also view your ticket volume trends so uh, you can see on the right side you have your today's ticket insights so how many tickets you might have sold or so what is the increase or decrease in these sales you can see receiving seven tickets increase the volume by 99 percent and below that you have your general administrative settings your team channels workflow agent productivity support operation and your general account settings over here you can view the progress or the details of a certain team member or a group member and below that you can see your different channels of communication you can also view your workflow and what kind of progress you have made what milestones that you have reached and how much uh, productivity each agent has you can view that from over here Going back into tickets, I'm going to show you how you can resolve a ticket. So over here at the top, we have how can I refund my order? Uh, and over here, you can see you can add tags. You can put it in a specific category, what kind of ticket this is. You can change its status. You can set its priority. And you can also set what kind of query it is. So what type of question it is. You can also assign a specific agent to this query. So you can just add a note, basically reply to this person 
and now I'm going to just tell them I will be resolving your ticket, your issue. Now I'm going to set this as a pending ticket and now I'm going to update the status. I'm going to add this note. Now I'm going to reply to the customer. So it's automatically going to type in, hi, Matt Rogers. That's the customer name. This is Jane Doe. What might be the issue with your product? I'm just going to send that. And now I have replied to this customer. You can also delete your responses within 10 seconds. So if you make a mistake, you can delete them within a few seconds and retype your emails. So if you're a business that's running this ticketing service and you have a similar kind of response you need to give to each of your customers again and again, you're going to go into the solutions tab and over here you can see there is the categories. You have general, getting started with us, orders and refunds, information, gifts and coupons, and facts and questions. So in facts and questions, you can see over here there is some draft templates that are already available. and Let's see, how long will delivery take? That's a question that is often asked. You can just publish this draft and then go back to ticketing. I'm just gonna, as a sample, just select this ticket. Obviously the question is different, but I'm just selecting this as a sample. And now I'm just gonna select this as a sample and I'm gonna reply to it. And you can see when you're replying to a customer, on the bottom left, you can see suggested solutions and canned forms. So you're gonna click on suggested solutions and you can see different articles that are a pre-written answer to a uh, customer question. And you can just insert that pre-written information into your response and send it without having to retype the same kind of answers again and again. So this is a very easy formula for your agents to follow so they can easily respond to emails. So another great feature that uh, Freshdesk really provides is creating groups. So if you click on groups in the admin section, you can create different groups for different purposes. So if a issue and a ticket is related to billing, you can assign a group member. So over here, I've assigned myself in this group and that person you could define their role and make them the leader of this kind of billing ticket. Other than that, you can also assign different, uh, in the group section, you can also assign different tickets to different groups. And once you've done that, you can even set like hierarchies. So who is the uh, billing head and who is the escalations head. And escalations are the customer escalations where customers might have elevated a certain situation. And yeah, this is how you can get started with your online ticketing using Freshdesk.com. I hope you guys found this easy to understand and helpful. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.